All right. First and foremost, we give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash. The blonders to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone rule well and who is worthy to be counted for the honors. And peace out to you brothers out there pushing this truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right. It's the brothers from the uh, Indiana camp. Come back as you again with another sit down to basically talk about um, confidence and success. All right. Because one thing you must have uh, in, in this truth is you must have confidence. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people get confidence mixed up with pride. Right. All right. Because why? Because you always because they believe confidence. Oh, you what you think you you think you know something? You think you knew that? Well, through the scriptures, yes, you know, uh, it says it talks about it. And we can get that actually. We, mm -hmm. It talks about it in Luke. It says, "I should put a word in your mouth right. that your adversary shall not gainsay nor resist." All yep. right, that's the Lord telling what he's he, he the words that's coming out of our mouths are not our own words, but what the Lord is putting those words in there. All right, so guess what? No one's gonna come up here and get the upper hand on you. No one's gonna come up here and uh, confound you and make you look stupid. All right, if you know what you're talking about, man. Now, if you go out there talking some waiver of doctrine and that that does not according to the scriptures, that's not backed up by scriptures, then you're out there on your own. Then, all right, the Lord is not with you. Just like if we sin back in the ancient world, if we go to war and we sin against the Lord, the Lord's not gonna be with us. So guess what? Nine times out of ten, what happens, man? We, we end up losing the battle. Only the Lord, only when the Lord's with you, the Lord's gonna fight for you. All right, that's also in the scriptures. Um, uh, uh, what Strive it for the two guns of death. No, nah, if, if it's the Lord before you, who can who be, be against you? Yeah. You know. So if these are the Lord's words, and the Lord and the Lord put these words in our mouths, who's gonna who 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 has the capability to coming up? Hey, scriptures uh, uh, says in uh, Nahum, who can abide in the Lord's indignation? Mm -hmm. No one can just come up against the Lord and actually get a Lord a run for his money. No man, no one. There's nobody on this planet Earth that actually can uh, have the one up on the Lord, man. All right. So how much more his men? Yep, and that's beautiful. Uh, Luke 21 and 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. You got it. Right, and that's plain. So that's why that's why you that's where the confidence comes from. That's why you have confidence because what? The Lord is your confidence. You know that I'm walking according to the way he told me to walk. I'm behaving, I'm speaking his words. So you I I can't go wrong. Now, I'm gonna jump to Proverbs. 3 and uh, 26, I believe. Proverbs 3 and 26 or 3 and 24. Where it literally says, the Lord is your confidence. Alright? Proverbs. Let me see. Proverbs chapter 3, verse... I'm, I'm going to start at 25. It says, Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. All right, so the wicked gonna be destroyed. All right, so and it's gonna come. All right, uh, uh, thermonuclear destruction. All right, and, and even when the um when the uh, when the host of uh, when Yahweh shine the um the heavenly army come back, they gonna come back and destroy the wicked. Who is the wicked? The so-called white man. All right, so when that come and when the things that that's gonna precede that when the um 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 what they say in Job uh uh uh, uh and famine y'all it was that Job and famine you shall laugh. At death or something like that, I think it's Job the fifth chapter. But like when these martial laws, uh, when martial law get to coming, all right, when inflation happen, all right, when you don't, when you don't know where you are gonna get your next meal from, when you don't know is uh, if you look left or look right, all right, uh, it could be a uh, somebody looking to stab you over here or somebody looking to shoot you over there. You ain't afraid. Why? Because you know the biggest fear. They say the biggest fear is the fear of, of unknown of mm -hmm. the unknown. But you know, you know what's gonna happen because the Lord said all these things was gonna happen. So it says, uh, "Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh." Verse twenty six: For the Lord, for Yahweh, shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. So he going he gonna guide you. He going uh, Second Ezra, uh, what's that? Let me see, Papa Shah. Mm -hmm. Cause it said, uh, it said he gonna keep your foot from being taken, right? Yep. So that leads you to what? What's that? Second Ezra sixteen, the last uh, couple of verses. It says, "Now I'm a, okay. I'm gonna start uh, right here. Just I'm gonna start at sixty-eight. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you, being idle." With things offered unto idols. So when when the, uh, when the devil come down with great wrath, all right, when they get to coming down, kicking in people's doors, uh, 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 carting them off, 
to um concentration camps, and while you there, uh, they, you might be offered with the chip, the mark of the beast. Huh? You, you just take this, and and it's my opinion. Now I speak as a man that they might do that to some of the um Latin tribes. All right, because you got you got some Lat you got Latinos that's legal, and you so called. All right, because this is their land. All right, parts of California, Mexico, and, but you know, you got some of them that's legal, so called, and you got some that's so called illegal. So how can they differentiate between the legals and illegals? Hell, they can't even differentiate between the Puerto Ricans. They got Puerto Ricans they trying to send back, and they so called, uh, you know, uh, legal, able to to go back and forth through America. So one of the ways they differentiate that is what? Okay, well, all you legal ones, we, we put this chip in you to make sure that you're not, you know what I mean? You never know with this devil. So, but but that's gonna happen though. That they gonna it says uh. And feed you being idle with things to offer unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. And that's why the scriptures say, Cursed is the man that trusted in man and make it flesh his arm. Alright? So you done trusted that what he said is true. You ain't make the Lord your confidence. Alright? You just was totally, totally in the world. Totally carnal. Totally, you know, I'm, I'm going to go along to get along. That ain't the right way to be. I'm just going to go along to get along. You, you, say, you said do this and I'm going to do that. It says what? It says, They that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. So you're going to be stumped out anyway. The scripture says, He that trusts in the Lord shall not be confounded. So you're going to be confounded like, Damn, I thought I thought I was doing right. I made a wrong decision. I made a, You know what I mean? That's going to be you. It says, uh, It says, uh, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear Yahweh. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. And that makes total, that, that makes complete sense. They said, then shall it, you don't say something, brother? No, no, you got it. It says, then shall it be known who is my chosen. So you can, uh, 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 you can say you love the Lord. And like James said, one may say I have faith. And, uh, and he said, and have not works. I show you my faith by my works. By my, by your actions. Don't they teach you growing up? Actions speak louder than words. Well, that's the same thing with the Lord. It says, uh, here, O ye my beloved, said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them, not the guide of everybody, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. So you can't just go off on your own and say, I'm going to do this, I hope the Lord with me. No, he told you don't do that. He ain't know. He the guide of them. That keep his commandments and precepts, said the Lord Power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. And then before you even do anything, it always says, seek counsel. So you always yeah. should be already inquiring. It talks about that in the wisdom of Solomon. It says, she shall meet him in every thought, that she is wisdom. Mm -hmm. So you should already be thinking about how is this going to affect me with the Lord, the Lord praying, fasting, casting lots. You should already consider how the Lord, uh, uh, how, how does the Lord think about me doing this specific situation? Right. You know? Well, how do the Lord feel if I go out and uh, 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 go visit my mom for the week? How am I going to do my sit downs? How am I going to do my camp? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? You know, let me hmm, let me inquire. Let me ask my camp leader. Let me ask the brother that's over me. Let me cast a light. You know, you should already be. It shouldn't be like, oh, well, I'm going to go do this. Lord, uh, 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 guide me in the way that you want me to. You should not all right, just all make up your mind without asking the Lord nothing. You know, that's mm -hmm. on order. You know, you can't just wait. Oh, well, I'm just going to move. You know, such, such. what if the Lord don't want you to move there? You know, now you in a fucked up situation because you tried to uh, force something the Lord didn't want you to do. Yeah, I got something. Yep, yep. This is uh, Romans chapter fourteen, verse twenty-two. It says, "Thou hast faith, if 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 it have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in the things which he alloweth." It says, and "Ooh, he that's heavy. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in the things that he alloweth." Like so, you basically doing certain things. Like the scripture says, uh, 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 "All things are not expedient." You could be doing yeah. something that's not expedient. It's not necessarily a sin, yeah. but it's not expedient. But it's but it's affecting your walk, yeah. and you know it because you you know you yourself better than 
You know what I mean? So you like, damn, I gotta. And that happens. We do that. Like, damn, I need to stop doing this. Damn, I need to. I need to do this. I need to. I need to set a schedule so I can make sure I do my. You know what I mean? You know it, but that's why the scripture says, "Uh, uh, uh, blessed is the man that is not condemned in his own conscience," because you, you, you know the Lord will put it there. The Spirit will tell you. It's like it, bro. Okay. It says, um, it says, and he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whosoever is not it says, for whosoever is not of faith is sin. All right. So it shows you, man, hey, you can't be doubting yourself, man. You can't be a uh, 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 second guessing because guess what? A second guess is going to do. A second guesser dies instantly. A person that starts to really uh, 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 evaluate, like, man, really starts to, um, hey, uh, 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 I remember a quote. I was seeing a quote on the internet that says, um, if you start questioning what you believe in, you are already basically game over. You might as well give the game over. All right. Especially if you've been believing this thing long enough. When I say long enough, I'm talking about more than a year. All right? So if you start thinking like, damn, is this really the truth? Am I really an Israelite? Is the Lord coming back? Is Esau the devil? Guess what? Those are that's First of all, that's Satan uh, uh, plaguing you. But it, 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 it's seeing when you start really kind of, it starts affecting your walk. Mm -hmm. I was going to do this sit down, but damn, that makes me really think. And then you're like, mm, I'll do the sit down later. Now that's just affected your walk. You could have did a sit down, but now you let that demon get in your head. Now you starting to think like, man, I'm not sure if this would be a good sit. First of all, you first of all you going to do a five sit down. You get really hot in the spirit. Then then the Satan come like, I don't think it's gonna be probably going off. And you're like, damn, that's why he is going off, man. I'll do it later. Boom, you just completely put off the work of the Lord because something that you thought. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. Now you mad hot, now you have an effect your walk of life. A sit down that probably was very probably could have been edifying. Now you have it. Now you just put it off, which is which is against the scriptures. It says, "Put off not the Lord day to day." You know. Yep. Now you have it. That's why it says, uh, uh, "Uh, and whosoever not uh, whosoever is not a faith is sin." All right, because once you stop believing, that's that's when sin is gonna start coming in, man. You know. What that right. brings folks oh, like it. Yeah, some, yeah. I was just to just to jump in. And that brings you to a, a Hebrews mm -hmm. without sin, uh, without faith. Yep. Isn't, what's Eleven. that? Yep. I'm eleven, yeah, eleven and one, uh, and that whole chapter really is, is good about faith. Mm -hmm. You know, let me get this right quick. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, verse one. It says, "When that, when shall the righteous man it says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness mm. before the face of such that afflicted him, and made no account of his labor." See, it says you're gonna stand in straight boldness, man. It says what our face is gonna be like a face of a lion, man. All right, when a lion. Tackles the gazelle. Does he? Does he? Does he second guess himself, or does he like? Oh, I was gonna do it. I I had one more hop, but I I it looked like he was gonna get away, and I didn't want to fall and embarrass myself. Mm -hmm. You gonna fall? You gonna mess up? You gonna you gonna? Uh, 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 how can I say? Um, go off. But guess what? You gotta get up, dust yourself off, and keep on uh, uh, riding, man. All right. Do you think a, a, a lion gives up if he can't uh, tackle the, the the gazelle? Got away? No. Hey, he just gotta wait till next time. Wait till next opportunity to get, man. You know. So that's how we are, man. If we fall, if we if we go off, it, hey, it, it, you gonna get cussed out, man. It's in the scriptures. It's in Deuteronomy. It's in Deuteronomy. It says, uh, uh, "The Lord shall send you to rebuke, man." So guess what? You're gonna you're gonna go off, you know. But you gotta get back up, dust yourself off, and keep moving forward, man. Hey, uh, what was it? Sylvester Sloan said, "It's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, man." Right. And the scripture he said it says, "Even the just man falls seven times, mm -hmm. man." All right. That shouldn't uh, deter your confidence, though. That shouldn't deter your boldness. You know, right. you should still be confident in the Lord, man. Because if you really trust in the Lord, guess what? That's where your uh, 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 that's what. Hey, well, I'm a prophet because the Lord made me a prophet. I'm prophesying. The, the, the scripture says this. The word prophet means this. I'm doing what is according to soul. Now, when it comes to the elect, you can always say Lord willing, you know, because we don't know who the elect is. But right now, we're doing the things that uh, we're doing the characteristic of the elect. So you know, you know, you might have now a brother saying, "Oh yeah, I'm part of the elect." But that's guess what? On. That's going off. But you might have a saying, but I'm doing what the elect would do if he's here back in today. Mm -hmm. You know? Which that's confidence. Yeah, you making the um you making uh 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 the Lord said what he's a guide to them who keep his precepts and commandments. Yeah, you're keeping the precepts and the commandments. You're yep. doing what he said you doing you you basically doing what he told you to do. Right. And there's nothing to be ashamed of that, man. Because really to be honest, if you're not confident, you're really ashamed. There's no middle ground. You know, a person that's confident, like if a person that's confident in reading, he's gonna show he hey, he's gonna always hey hand up when it's ready to read you know <laughs> hey, hey ready to read hey when when the teacher wants somebody to read he gonna he gonna show forth effort versus when someone's ashamed what they do put their hand down put their arm down mm -hmm. try to you know try to duck off to the side 
You know, they don't really want because what they're ashamed because what they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to read. So if you're ashamed of this truth, what you ain't gonna do? Fit, sit down. You don't want to be seen that camera. You really being ashamed. Hey, Lord's not looking for. No, that's like it. Lord's not looking for a uh, 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 ashamed people because what it says. Uh, uh, it says, um, it even says this, this is your wisdom and your knowledge, and you should never be ashamed. Mm-hmm. You know, you got it, bro. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, yeah, you know, you first come to camp or whatever, you know, when you very, very, very first, you very, you be like, man, people gonna think I'm crazy, they gonna think, <laughs> you know, people, you know, I lost my damn, you know what I mean, my head, you know, it's a demon, yeah, 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 yeah. But then you get, you be like, what the fuck, nigga? This right, right. This is the right thing to do. I'm dumb, y'all, y'all, y'all fucked wrong. up. Yeah, y'all like wrong, the scripture yeah. says, uh, the, the 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 righteous are an abomination to the uh, yeah. to the wicked, yeah, and the wicked are you right. Abomination so they right. looking at us like we crazy. We looking at them, you crazy, nigga. Y'all so fucking mind. You ain't gonna serve the Lord, nigga. Right. Like you, cra- you, you crazy. You got your fucking mind. And that's how you be. That's why. That's the spirit you in. You telling all your. When you first get into it. Well, I used, I used to call it real church. You going to real church? Come on. Let's go to real church, yep. which it is. Yeah, let's call out. Yeah. But I want to read the definition of confidence. Uh, no, this is the etymology: confidence, assurance, or belief in the goodwill. Hey, scripture says, "Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get mm-hmm. it. I'm gonna get. You can keep reading. I'm, I'm gonna get it though." Insur- assurance. Uh, well, uh, the things that I was been assured of. Yep. I was thinking of that when I read that. Yep, assurance or belief in the goodwill. Of veracity of another, so we doing this because we we believe we gonna uh, receive a reward. The the, the the Lord said, "What? Behold, I'm coming, and my reward is with me." Yeah. So we gonna be reward everything we want. Every first of all, everything that we supposed to have anyway, because the Lord said, "What? I created the earth for their sakes." So we already supposed to we supposed to be highly uh, elevated and esteemed. But what we sin against the Lord, so now you gotta work for it. Yep. You, you got your scripture. Come, come. Mm-hmm. Second Timothy chapter three verse fourteen. It says, "But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned." Continue. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got that. Okay. Oh, that's the Israelite thing. Oh, I know about that already. Oh, to, no. You got it. Which thou, which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And All that's right? why we. And that's a part of it. You got. It's you have to be assured. Now, the Lord said he created the faithful in the womb. All right? So, everybody that's going to believe is already destined to believe anyway. So, you continuing in the uh, uh, in the precepts and the commandments, uh, the Lord, your God, you continuing, you you hoping to be part of that, you gonna, your faith going to increase. All right? Because you, you got to be assured. Now, assured, all right, what's, what assures you of something? If you if you understand it to be true for yourself. That's why Apostle Taha say, look, you got to go into the prophecies. The prophecies increase your faith. Cause this this already uh, the, the the you got prophecies that came to that that came to pass already. And then you go into the history, you you match up the secular history with the scriptural history, all right. And then you be like, damn, this is, damn. So if that happened, I know that happened. Uh, we 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 got the history to look at that. You got all these books. Uh, the brother got the book. Uh, uh, the Roman Empire, yeah. the Roman Empire, the, the Empire of the Edomite. You know you got all these you got all these different resources. You be like, damn, if that happened, then the future thing is gonna happen, and then you seeing the prophecies unfold before you. All right, you got more? No, it was it today. Um, I was trying to get something, but you uh, he's basically saying uh, basically um, being assured, back, basically backed up being assured of, because it says uh, uh of, of whom were we learned them from, like right. like like the brother said, uh, uh, like when we first came into the truth, what. Elder Apo- the apostles always pushed what? Don't take our word for it. Look up, look, look it up for yourself. Yeah. You know, go look, do, do research yourselves. You know, uh, if you, if, if a brother say something, you and you're not really sure about it, hey, go look it up. For, even if you are sure, because a brother said, oh man, that brother said that. Let me go look it up. See, is it true? Right. Boom, it's true. I seen it for myself. Right. Now I can push it. Really, right. to be honest, you the words that you saying, you shouldn't really be even saying them unless you yourself actually. Uh, 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 Researched it and looked it up yourself. Right. Yeah, you might say something because a brother. You might even say it the way the brother said it. But until you do it yourself, that's where that's where the assurance comes from, man. Because uh, just like the apostles gave levels, man. He said everybody came. Everybody was an um a monkey and a parrot. Yeah, you know, in the beginning. In right. the beginning, then you became uh, Lord willing, you wasn't the toad because the toad was stubborn. If you were told, you, most likely probably Lord got rid of you. You know, mm-hmm. but then it, after the toad, it's uh, uh, the owl and the dragon. Which the owl and the dragon are, 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 are the, one, was one of the two uh, two of the uh, the wisest ones on the statue. Yeah. You know the dragon. That's why it's being so bitter. Which the scripture says, "Be wise as serpent, harmful as doves." Mm-hmm. 
you know, and the owl because it can see at night, which is also represented to us too. Because why? It has a special oil that illuminates its eyes where it can see at night. Yeah. And we have that oil. The oil is what? The scriptures, man. Yeah. We have that oil to let us see at night. Where, what's the night? The valley of the sorrow of death, man. This uh, this world out here, man. America. This world, we see it for what it truly be. And it also says what? Let your light shine before men. You know? Our light is what? The scriptures, Bible man. Shot. Go ahead. First Peter 2 and 9. It says, but ye are a chosen generation, mm -hmm. a royal priesthood. Yep. And holy nation, mm -hmm. a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness. See? Called you out of darkness, man. That darkness was what? This world, man. All right? Because you didn't know who you were. You thought you were a uh, uh, black, Latino, Native American. You thought you were, were Trevor or Devante or whatever. Some yeah. nigga that was just went, had a nine to five living in his mama's basement. No. A so savage. They, yeah, a savage. You know? No, the Lord called you into this light, man. And this light is what? This truth. You uh, uh, finally uh, uh, awaken up who you were. Go ahead. It says, uh, who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, mm -hmm. which in time past were not a people. Mm -hmm. African American, that's not a people. That's not a nation. <laughs> a Negro, that's not a people. That's not a nation. All right. It says, uh, but are now the people of God, which have not attained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. And the truth is mercy because yeah. this this is the way to please the this Baruch. Hap, o Israel, happy art thou, because yeah. the ways uh, that are pleasing yeah, to the to Lord, Lord are made known to us. Absolutely. So that's mercy. We can please because because if you ain't a so called Negro, Latino, Native American, which are the Israelites of the Bible, they ain't in the truth. They ain't pleasing the Lord. The, the scriptures say the Lord angry with the wicked every day. Yep. Oh, the, the the Lord said uh, and, and, judgment go bad for every day too. Yep, and that's, that's why things know. be happening. Yep. Yep. I got something. This mm -hmm. is uh, Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 12. You was going to say something? No, go ahead. Okay, I thought you was going to say This is Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 12. It says, And it shall come to pass at the time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish them and punish the men that have settled at their leaves. And what's them candles, man? You know, this truth going now. But we're, th we're that, 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 that light bearer, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord is using us to what? Search Jerusalem with candles to see where. The Lord is using us to bring in the fish. It says what in Jeremiah the 16th chapter? It says what? I shall make you fishers of men. Uh, I shall make I, I shall make you fishers, and they shall fish them, man. Right. right now we're doing the fishing process, and as soon as we get all the fish randled up and all ready to go, as soon as we drive off and get into that lake, the Lord is going to destroy that lake, man. All right. No matter of fact, no. You know what? The Lord's going to turn them fishers. We're going to go drive the boat back on shore, and we're going to grab our swords and we're going to dive in the water and mm -hmm. kill all them fish mm -hmm. that didn't want to kill with it, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's why the Lord says what? And shall punish the men that set on their leaves. Yeah. You know? So the Lord is using us as that candle, as that light, to bring forth other lights. And then after that, he's going to use us again to punish the men that are set on their leaves, man. Yeah. All right? It says that it says that say in their heart, the Lord will not do, do good, neither will he do evil. So Ain't basically what? Shit. The Lord is not going to do nothing. You know? Yep. He's always going to forgive you. That's the Christian doctrine, man. All right. Yeah. Uh. 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 The Lord will not do good or do evil. Oh uh, my! Uh, they've been saying that since my grandma. Right. You know, right. like eh, some people, they got a doctrine to say, "Oh, the Lord just created everything and just left it on." Like yeah, I just created that and just. Mm. Right. Just, you know. But yeah, man. It uh, shows right there. But it, I, I brought that scripture. I just show you the Lord is uh, the Lord is you, them, them lights is represented for us, man. Mm -hmm. You know. We have the light. It says what uh, uh, if uh, if the salt lost its savor, how can it be salted? So we have the since we have the salt, since we mm -hmm. know who we are, with that hey, that light is. But hey, it says uh, uh, wisdom shall make a man's face to shine. Yeah, you know that's that light, man. Sometimes people can just see you. Sometimes people know that you're different from a, a average person, man. Brothers got all type of testimonies that saying, "Oh, people treat me different." People are always saying there's something about you. People are always saying, oh, man, they all, every time we, every time I go out with a brother, people look at us. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard that multiple times, man. Mm -hmm. Brothers saying they go out with other brothers and they see, uh, uh, catch, they, people catch, at catch people looking at Catch people looking at And it's more than one people, one more than one person, too, because me, myself, I catch people looking at us. Even sometimes when the brothers don't see, I, I see certain people just look, it, not, not necessarily at me, but at other brothers, you know, and they ain't just one quick looking took away. It's kind of a quick look stare, you know, check you out. And then until you until they until you notice they're present, then they'll, they'll go all back back to their uh whatever they was doing. That's a person is not just gonna look and, and just be like, oh man, yeah, yeah. and then look and then you know 
it, most likely it'd be females. You're probably checking out brothers and shit, but still, they see that glow. They see that light. They see them illuminated, you know? Yeah, when I first, uh, quick testimony about mm -hmm. myself, when I first came to the truth, I used to catch myself staring at the bro. I'd be staring. I'd be like, damn, hope the bro. Hope I don't think I'm, I'm fruity. You know what I mean? No, like, I, bro, I, I completely, because when, uh, when I was on the cameraman the first five years, bro, I would be so in tune, bro. They'll look at me like, bro, you're not doing the camera. I'm like, oh, oh, snap. You know, I had to, <laughs> had to snap back because right, I'd be right. so in tune yeah. about them just, yeah. just, just them, them teaching. And, bro, it's like that light. You just see it. And yeah. You get mesmerized by it, bro. Yeah. I, I, I've been there. Yeah. You know, and then they got to kind of snap you back. Hey, bro, the camera, the camera. I'm like, oh, you know, got to snap back and <laughs> back into reality for a little bit. Yeah, one time I was on the camera and I was like, I was gone. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Yeah. I'm gone. Who? It did. The brother was like, he looked at me and then he, he just pointed like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, oh, oh shit. Yeah, so e e even ourselves, we find ourselves looking at brothers yeah. like that. It's yeah. heavy, you know. I can't even imagine what the brothers like. You, you know, you brothers meant the apostles, like, man. Yeah, woo, woo, bro. Oh, 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 that scripture. It says, uh, the things, uh, y'all. Can you read it again, Bob? Okay, okay. It says, um, is that the short of? Not no, Zephaniah, the, uh, the um, short, what's that, Peter? That's uh, Timothy. Oh, that's Timothy. Second Timothy. Three, cause that's a that's powerful, all right. Cause the Lord said what? Uh, he said I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right, uh, uh, Jeremiah three and fifteen, mm -hmm. and you don't got that amongst the, like uh, 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 through the Spirit we govern ourselves. The Lord governs. Judgment goes. You don't do, ain't no bishop can I, ain't embezzling, taking brothers' money, <laughs> camp starter kids. We help each other. The scripture says, uh, 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 you young men, you treat the age like fathers, and you fathers treat the young men like brothers. And that's, that's the balance. That be balanced like that. All right? Maybe that, uh... Kind, mm -hmm. kind. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. It says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and been assured of. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Right. And a lot of people uh, might lead the truth dealing with, uh, you know, various, because uh, 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 they was under a wicked nigga. You know? And that's the, uh, 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 but, but see, that just lets you know it's all about the spirit of the Lord. Because some brothers be under wicked, wicked people and they'll remain. Yeah. Because why? Because they believe that that's the truth. Perfect example, uh, uh, Apostle uh, uh, Gabar, man, he was up under um, Yohanna. Mm -hmm. But when you know when he separated from Yohanna and became with uh, Apostle Tahar, and then when and when Yohanna started going off and going doing his own thing, uh, 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 Apostle Gabar remained. Or even um, all uh, of them. Uh, yeah. Apostle Rakai, uh, yeah. Apostle Tahar. Uh, I'm trying to think of a brother of Chicago because when um, now a nigga and them got kicked out. Uh, somebody had uh, somebody. Oh, uh, 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 uh. uh I can't think of the brother's name, but the, basically the brother got brought in by one of them, um, by uh, by somebody from that. Ethan? From the, not Ethan, because Ethan left with him. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, basically, somebody got brought in with them, and when they got kicked out, he remained with the. You know, he still mm -hmm. remained in it. He mm -hmm. didn't, you know, all oh, leave because of the, no, yeah. he still remained. I can't think exactly what the brother name is. Right. But yeah, it, it's, it's countless examples, you know, because that, hey, that's the that's the power of the Lord, though. The Lord will use you until a certain time to bring up uh, another because He know you. He know you uh, probably familiar with the brother, so he'll bring you in. Then he'll have you to bring that brother in. And if the Lord's not with you, the Lord get rid of you and keep that brother in, man. That's like that example. Uh, sorry. No, no, no. I was like, I was gonna say that's like that example you brought up with the fish. Right now, when you yep. go and catch fish, you're not gonna catch all righteous fish. If some it's every now and then it's gonna be a crab in that mu in the net, mm -hmm. a, a catfish. But what through through being searched out. Mm -hmm. You know, you might you might remain for a while, you know, but yeah. then you search yeah. out. Oh, so you, yeah, right. It really, it really, to be honest, it really happens when you get done with all the good fish. You know, mm -hmm. the good fish are solid. Then that's when you start noticing the bad. They're like, what the fuck is this doing? What the fuck that out of here? Oh shit, this too. You know, and you just start noticing all the bad fish. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, I'm gonna finish reading. You, you done? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna finish reading. Uh, this definition on confidence, assurance, or belief in the goodwill, veracity of another. From old French confidence, or directly. Blase, blase, blah. Firmly trusting, bold to have full trust or reliance mm -hmm. from a simulated form of, and that's and that's what we're doing, man. We're relying on what on the Lord, man. Yep. All right. When we go out there as in highways and byways, wait, wait. I mean, yeah, we do our own personal studies. Yeah, we actually study the materials that we're saying. But at the end of the day, hey, when we go out there, we don't, we, we don't. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm bring this scripture out. I'm bring that scripture out, and we have a long list of scriptures that. No, we just rely on the Spirit, man. Yeah. All right, 
We and just could go totally on the spirit, and that's the Lord working. That's that's you relying on the Lord to for the Lord to put the words in His mouth, man. Hey, it says we made the Lord our shield and our buckler, man. Yep. All right, that's part of being. That's that's part of the shield and buckler right now, man. We go out there, and we just let loose, man. You know, whatever whatever precepts, whatever scriptures the Lord have come to your mind, there you go. You know. Or uh, or you can have some plan and it don't come out that way. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm, not, I'm, not, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, yeah. brothers that do have the list, yeah. you know, you're going off. But I'm just saying that uh, 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 nine times out of the ten, what if you what, what if you go through all the scriptures, but you're still going, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, you're still going. You're still going. That's the, that's the, that's the Lord <laughs> working within you. Even if you do have them scriptures, hey, the Lord still is with you to break it break it down as as because you write all the scriptures down. Guess what? You might not even hit all the scriptures. You might hit five of the scriptures. And then that one scripture, that, 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 that the fifth scripture, might bring you up a scripture that you didn't even have written down, and then that might just lead it to something totally different. Yeah. You know? I've seen that happen before. This lesson segued. Yeah. And that's what we're doing right now is, is, is segued. And yep. How long we been doing this? That 30 31 minutes, minutes? 31 minutes, yeah. We've been talking about boldness. Then we kind of went into the uh, the candlesticks that must be in yep. the short, and went to the faith a little. Mm -hmm. We went into the, 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 the concert, little prophecy, concentration camp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This, but see, that's that's just the spirit, though. Absolutely. Uh, I got uh Joshua one and eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to keep going? You want to close on this? I mean, you know, with hey, I like we just said, right, right, spirit, right, 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 right. Like, yeah. I, you know. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, it's the scripture. Uh, what's that scripture in Isaiah? This uh, they trust in horses, but uh, uh, but, but them horses are not spirit. Uh, they don't got nothing to do with the less I was just thinking about that uh, that scripture because you say it's the spirit, bro. You gotta you gotta uh, you gotta trust in the spirit, man. Okay. Matter of fact, you actually we actually can get that because okay. we said uh, I think it's it's worded like flesh and not they are flesh and not spirit. I know it's not spirit in there. Let me see. Then I read the uh, Joshua. Ah, thirty-one three. I got it. Uh -huh. I read it. Um. Isaiah chapter 31 verse 3 it says now Egypt Egyptian now Egyptians are men and not God mm -hmm. and the horses flesh not spirit and this is the this is the the new Egypt all right America Babylon all right and 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 they weaponry like people be saying oh, oh boy. we he's talking to a talking to a so-called Negro about America going down or they can't win in the fist of World War three oh we have the strongest military First of all, nigga, you ain't a part of that. I don't know why you saying we. First of all, second of all, that though that 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 military is what flesh and not spirit. You got it, out. When the Lord shall stretch out His hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that hope hoping shall fall down, and they shall and they shall fall together. So you're gonna die, Jacob. Jake got uh 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 Ainawa. Yeah. Hold on, I think this was one more. It says, mm -hmm. For for thus said the Lord, he says, For thus hath the Lord spoken to me, like as a lion and the young lion roared on his prey, when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he shall not be afraid of their voices. It says, Nor abase nor nor abase him himself for the noise of them. The look it says, So shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof uh, it says as as birds flying so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem defending also he will it says def defending also he will deliver it and pass over he will preserve it you know so what's the Lord got to be afraid of you know this is men he's fighting hey matter of fact that's actually going to be vice versa because the men is going to be afraid, but the Lord wants so much of a war, the Lord is going to put the spirit on them to still fight. Yeah. You know? And that's part and, of our psyche, brother. Yeah. No, it says, he says, defending also, he would deliver. So by mm -hmm. defending us, he's also delivering us in the same breath. And uh, Habakkuk says, and, and wrath, remember mercy. Yeah. And it, it, it says, and yeah, because the Lord's going to be, in, yeah, the Lord's going to be, hey, the Lord's going to be like a madman, you know? He's going to be like when he was, try, when he was killing Israel, man. You know, and that angel, hey, that angel's coming back. You know? Indeed. It says, and passing over, will, it says he will preserve it. You know? Preserving what? The elect. It says what? Jacob, uh, Israel is not utterly, uh, Jacob's not, should not utterly be destroyed. Because mm -hmm. what? Is that remnant, man? He's going to preserve. We have preservance, man. 
preservatives, mm-hmm. which to me is the best jam, really. You know, fuck jelly and all that. Mm-hmm. Preservatives is really the best. Right. But, you know, hey, you know, Lord, hey, Lord's going to come in. At, at simultaneously as he's destroying, he's also going to what, what? Bring a salvation and deliverance. Yep. You know? What does the Lord have to fear? Go ahead. Yep. Uh, you know, the Joshua? Mm-hmm. This is Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, mm. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, that riches, mm-hmm. the prosperity doctrine. This the this the prosperity doctrine. Yeah. Hey, what it says in Wisdom of Solomon it says, if thou if thou desires is in thrones and in scepters, uh, rubies and riches, get what wisdom, man. That's where it comes from. You know, because guess what? Wisdom brings it to a kingdom, which I think that's that's also in the scripture too. Yeah, that's the same. That's the same. same yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's also in that scripture. Wisdom brings it to a kingdom. Yeah. You know, wisdom of Solomon six. So, so if you desire those things, if you desire in the in the um, how can I say uh, in the uh, in in in, in, in what's the, what, what's that song? Uh, I want the cars, the cars and the clothes, the money and the hoes. If you desire, I just want to be successful. I just want to be successful. Yeah. If you desire in that, then get wisdom. You know, ask it of the Lord, and, he, and He's going to give it to you. You know, yeah. but first you got to go through this process. You got to work for it. Yeah, you got to study. You know? Don't nothing anybody, ain't nobody successful that ain't studied or that, that ain't dedicated some time. Right. That's so a, that's just, that's, that's cause and effect. That's, that's, yeah. that's balance really, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. You know, cause that's and how, effect. That's how you know that demon, that's, that's crazy because that's how you know that, that lottery shit is a demon. Yeah. Motherfuckers be addicted to that shit because they want that, that quick, that quick success right then and there, you know, because it's instantly one day you broke and then you just do something, then boom, you just win a million dollars or some shit. That's how you know it's a really a demon on that. And you know, you know? what? And, and, and with that lottery shit too, the majority, uh, the vast majority of them go broke and they be worse off than what they was. Why? Because they don't appreciate it. Yep. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't yeah. work for yep, it. Yep. Exactly, bro. It's crazy because um, an Edomite that used to fuck with us and Gary, mm-hmm. she she was a homeless vagabond. The end up got hit by a bus. She was actually rich at one point. Mm. She was rich at one point. Mm. She fucked up all her money, man. <laughs> she fucked up all her money. Now she was begging, homeless, and everything, man. And we constantly kept seeing her all on Broadway and just and kept seeing her. Just kept seeing her, bro. And the Lord tore her down. Oh my God, bro! Tremendously. Let her get raped. Let her get hit by a bus. Mm-hmm. One, uh, 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 <laughs> one of my dad's friends let her in and live with her. She burnt that bitch house down. Bro, it's just like, just constantly, just constant. And then uh, on top of that, seeing us every week. Just <laughs> just constantly, like, torture on top of torture. You know? Hell no. She probably was a demon. Like, bro, she was probably a a, a, a horrific demon back in uh, uh in, in segregation and that. Because she was old. She was, like, fucking 90, 80-something. She looked at, oh, my God, she looked terrible. Damn. But you got it, bro. I just want right, to right. just, you know, fucking doing deserve shit, man. Right, I'm going to just, uh, um, I'm going to read uh, Joshua uh, chapter 1, verse 8 and 9. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Mm-hmm. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Yeah, be not courageous, a- man. Have courage. All right. What? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For it, it's a, it says in Jeremiah, it says, uh, uh, make thy face hard against their face. Be not afraid of, it it, at the beginning it says, be not afraid of their faces. Make your face hard against theirs, man. Mm-hmm. You know? So uh, so what? We shouldn't, you know, hey, it says, um, fear not the incredulity of them, man. Fear not their unbelief, man. Mm-hmm. Just because somebody don't believe, we shouldn't fear that. We shouldn't be worried because we got Romans 9 and 9. What if some didn't believe? Should I make the faith of, of the Lord without effect? God forbid, man. Romans three and three. But let what? Let, let the word be true and every man a liar, man. Yeah. Guess what? This word is going to go out whether you believe it or not, whether you fall out or not, man. This word is still going to go forth, man. Right. Hey, it talks about in uh, Ezekiel, the third, the 47th chapter, it says what? The water was to the ankles, then to the knees, and then to the loins, and then where you can even, you, you can, you can even swim in it. Guess what? This word is going to go out, you know, whether you like it or not. All right. We have that, uh, we have that, um, Psalms, um. The, the, was the, the ninth chapter, the line. I think that's the ninth chapter. It talks about the line. There's a line 19, going out. 19, 19. 19th chapter. There's a line going out. The internet, man. You know? 
the Lord has tools to get yeah, his word is going to be pushed out there, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and then ultimately you have the Lord, the ultimate creator. He's he's God in the thing. He's 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 pulling the strings to let certain things go out. So that really, to be honest, that alone should that's nailing the coffin right there. He said I make rocks come up. Right. And, and, and cry out to make them the sons of Abraham. That's nailing the coffin right there. You got the Lord saying, I, I want this to be done. I want this word to be pushed off. Mm -hmm. You know? You got yep. it, bro. Yep. It says, uh, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for Yahweh, thy power, mm -hmm. is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Yeah, he's, he's, he's with you, man. All right, and you got to believe that, man. You know? You can't doubt. Like we read, you know, he, he that doubteth is damned by the eateth, man. You know? That same belief you got when your when your when your when your father say he coming to pick you up after school, mm -hmm. you ain't doubting that. Or or better yet, yeah, that paycheck you get, yeah, you get but, yeah. at Friday when you just did a whole week of work. I bet you don't doubt that. You ain't doubting that. Coming. And guess what? If it do, I bet you I'm pretty sure you're gonna raise hell. You know? Shit, shit if it's late. Yeah. <laughs> if it if, yeah. if it's late, if you still if it's late, you what, what it's a problem. You so that same mentality, that same yeah. mindset you get yep. when it's like that. Because why are you assured of that? Like, I, mm -hmm. I, 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 shit. I didn't, I didn't plan shit. Right. I've been playing shit for this. Yep. You, you know? done plan. You done planned around it. Right. Yeah. That, that's that's heavy yeah. assurance. You know. Yeah. That's really heavy assurance because you put your all into that. Because you, you expect know? it. Exactly. You, bro, hey, bro, uh, people didn't put off bills. Like I just paid next time I get paid Friday. Mm -hmm. You know. You know how much faith. You know how much faith that takes. <laughs> you know to say I just wait yeah. till next Friday yeah. to get. You know, so how much more the Lord? Right. All right, that's, that's all I had. That's all I had, too. All right, you know, with that, well, Lord willing, we hope this video was edifying for you brothers out there. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, the honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace, salutations, you brothers out there, pushing this truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. With that, Shalom. Shalom.